Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui c'est jeudi le 20 avril. Um, not a whole lot you need to do today, but a couple of items that I wanted to touch base with you about. Uh, your flip video, people have not been completing these. I've had weeks with zero people. I've had weeks with one or two. It's not that hard and it's a 20% grade. So when you look at your grades, the output which is your flip videos and once a quarter your quick writes um, is worth 20% of your grade. Your quizzes, your um, input, which is meaning like reading comprehension, which is basically just your listening quizzes, is 70%. Um, <clears throat> and your, uh, your other like just kind of grades for translations and other work that you do is worth 10% um, of your grade. So that means that the flip videos are, if you have not been doing them, if you've accumulated a bunch of zeros, that could really help your grade. So consider doing them on time and also consider going back and doing some from before and of course filling out a late work form for those. Um, Aujourd'hui dans l'histoire, we're going to look at that together. And then you have your listening quiz about la personne spéciale fictive, moi. Um, not really a story, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to try to get rid of that. don't know why this isn't working. There we go. Just be, be slow. Okay. Okay. So uh, you have your quiz on that. We copied the write and discuss into our um, cahier yesterday. If you haven't done that yet, this is a good time to do so. Um, and then within the quiz link, you're going to see um, a, a um, video of me going through the write and discuss where I ask questions and you try to answer them in your head as I'm putting it together. So it's not just you're copying this down, you're seeing how it works, you're thinking of the questions, you're answering them just like you did in the form the other day about yourself. Now we're answering about this fictitious person we're talking about in the first person, Taylor. So um, that video is in the quiz link as well as your video for the quiz itself. There's a link for it here and then it's also a Schoology assignment right here in your folder for Jeudi. Okay. Aujourd'hui dans l'histoire. Aujourd'hui, c'est jeudi, le 20 avril, et c'est l'anniversaire de Lydia Nesquera. Qui est Lydia Nesquera? Elle vient du Burundi, comes from Burundi. Burundi est un pays francophone, a French-speaking country, en Afrique. Elle est membre de la famille royale de Burundi. Um, donc, il y a une famille royale au Burundi. She is part of it, so she's in the upper classes. Um, and she's used her fame in a few different ways we're going to talk about here. Elle est la première femme de devenir présidente d'une fédération de sport en Afrique. La première femme, the first woman to become, to devenir président d'une fédération de sport en Afrique. So in Africa, there are sporting associations just like in the US, like the NFL or the NBA. Um, and they are <clears throat> represented, of course, by each of the countries in Africa. Um, and each of the countries has their own um, sports clubs, uh, federations, associations. And she is the only person to be the president of one who is a woman. Um, elle est une dirigeante sportive pour le football. Elle est présidente du Comité National Olympique de Burundi. So she's part of the National Olympic Committee um, for the, the country of Burundi. She is also the, um, the first woman to ever be, be the president of a sports federation. That sports federation is uh, the federation for le football or soccer. So she is the president of the national soccer organization for the the country of Burundi. Okay. Maintenant les questions. Who is Lydia Nisquera en anglais? How is she a trailblazer? And where is she from? Um, 
dans Schoology, right above where you saw the link for the listening quiz, you have your uh, place you're going to be answering those discussion questions. So you can do so um, when you get a chance and you will have finished your work for jeudi. Au revoir tout le monde.